task. However, that's only a tool to help me keep on task. It doesn't mean that's all that we talk about. Or does that mean that that is the only thing I can talk about? So whatever you want to talk about tonight, that's what I'm here for. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Yes. Sir. So let me get a feel for who's here first and foremost. Is all of you, are all of you real estate investors? Let's start with that. Yes? Are all of you um, been real estate investors for more than a year? Raise your hand up high. Who has been a real estate investor for less than a year? Raise your hand up high. Real estate investor for less than a year. Good. Raise your hand up high. Go ahead. This is class participation time. Here's what we call give take. As I give you take, as you give I take, and we have this give take back and forth because what you put out there, and you might want to write this down, what you put out there you get back. So who here wants the best presentation they've ever heard in their life tonight say yes? Yes. 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 So what does that mean? It means you must give the best participation you've ever given in your life. Would that be clear? Yes. So, let's begin again. How many of you have been real estate investing for less than a year? Raise your hand up high. Awesome. How many of you have been studying for more than a year of real estate investing? But you haven't, didn't consider yourself. Now, some of you, you were real estate investors for less than a year, but you've been studying for more than a year. Is that right? Why weren't you a real estate investor before when you started studying? What happened? You have to do your homework. Who here believes they have to do their homework before they take action? Someone, yeah. When don't you have to take do your homework before you take action? When you want to fail. When you want to fail. <laughs> then explain to me the rookie syndrome. Anyone know what the rookie syndrome is? Yes. What's the rookie syndrome? Well, I'm guessing it's yeah. aim, 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 never shoot, never pull the trigger. No, the rookie syndrome is, is when the rookie comes in and he blows the experts away. The rookie comes in and creates instant success, and he doesn't know squat. He doesn't know why it's difficult. He doesn't know why it's insane for him to be doing the same thing he's doing. He doesn't know why he shouldn't be calling on those guys the way he's calling on them. He doesn't know why he's creating success time in and time out every single day. He just is taking action. Fear believes that there's such a thing as this rookie syndrome where a rookie can create success when the experts tell them no, 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 it can't happen. Yes? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is that taking action without doing your due diligence? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Can you do that? Yes. Who here is willing to do that from this point forward? Yes. And all of you go, no! I couldn't possibly. How would you like to learn some of the techniques and strategies on how to do that so that you can create success now and then figure out why you created success later? Would that be okay? Yes. yes. That's part of what I did to create the person I am now. I'm going to talk about some of my story, some of who I am. I'm going to talk about what drove me into success. I'm going to talk about what you guys are doing now and what each one of you could do to drive yourself into success. Who here wants success in their life? Yes? Yes. What, do you, what is success? And I'm actually, is it okay if I ignore some of my PowerPoint? If I slide through slides now because I just spent some of this time and covered things that are in my slide, would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to click right on through some of this stuff and some are yaya -ya and we're going right through to we covered all this already. We didn't even know it. So, success, what is success? It's different for different people, isn't it? What's success for you? Financial freedom. Financial freedom. What's success? Come on, this being participation. Able, being able to <laughs> quality of life. Quality of life. What's success? Being able to do what I want, when I want. Time freedom. Time freedom. What does time freedom look like? Financial success. What does financial success look like? <laughs> Time, what did, what, what did you say? Quality of life. Quality of life, what does that look like? Getting paid while you sleep. 
Can you do that? <laughs> so if I sent the dollar to your house while you're sleeping, you'd have a quality of life. Right. Is that all you ask? Would a dollar be okay? No, I'd like a million of those dollars. You'd like a million of them. But that's not what you said, is it? No. No. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. What is, what's time freedom mean for you, sir? Being able to do what needs to be done and what would be enjoyed. It, are they one and the same? No. They're different. What needs to be done and what's enjoyable are two different things for you. I'm raising four teenagers. <laughs> Well, let's talk about that. See, people train with me, and they come from all around the country. I've got training programs that start with 90-minute presentations like this. I've got training programs that are three-day programs. I would like to, just from what you've seen already, think hanging out with me for three days might be a lot of fun. Yeah. Three-day program that I go into the key components on what it takes to be an entrepreneur, what it takes to succeed, what it takes to create yourself as the person you always wanted to be, so that you had time freedom to do what you wanted to do. Everything that you wanted to get done got done, and you still had time to hang out and enjoy life. Where you had a lifestyle that you really could enjoy and participate in, where you had financial freedom to do whatever you wanted to do, who here would like all that and then some? Here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm a motivational coach as well, and I coach people all around the world on how to create this. However, I will tell you right here and right now that for most of you, that'll never, ever, ever happen. You all excited now? She <laughs> thinks. Why did I say it'll never happen? You're not going to what? You're not getting the participation you want. We're scared. We're insecure. Scared, insecure, fears, whatever the case may be, to create that ultimate success where you have success in everything in your life, where you have the time freedom and the money freedom and the abundance coming in, takes a certain fortitude. It takes work. It's what Angel, I said it right after, he stumbled over it a thousand times, but I'm now stumbling. Angel, what Angel was saying is it takes work, it takes effort. We're not just handing you money. We're not handing you a free life. You must work for it. Who here is willing to work for a better life? Put in some effort and you're going to get back a ton more. So, most of you don't have the fortitude, mental and physical fortitude, to stay the course. Who here is willing to commit to me to stay the course and then some? Some of you are not raising your hand. <laughs> you may as well leave now. And I'm not joking. When you say course, what's the course? What's the course? What does staying the course mean? Yeah. So what's well, that how mean? How do we know? How do we know what we're saying? Saying? So what does that mean, stay the course? Not giving up. Staying not giving up. Okay. Stay in focus. Set your goal and keep going towards it. What if I told you that you give me five years. Five years. Is that a long period of time? Or is that a short period of time? Depends. Depends. I tell you what, in five years from now, and I don't care, I have people come through my program that they're in their 20s. Matter of fact, I have several that are in their teens. They come through my program and they tell me, oh man, I wish I knew this stuff earlier. I go, how much earlier could I have gotten it to you? <laughs> and then there are some gentlemen who say, listen, I'm on the other edge of that spectrum. I need this now. Here's the key. In five years from now, you'll be in the same exact age whether you work with me or not. You will be progressing five years from this point forward whether you do anything towards improving your life or not. However, in those five years when you stay dedicated, and five years you give me where you say, I will do what most people will never do. I will do what most people would never even dream of getting out of bed and doing. 
what most people wouldn't have the fortitude to make happen, you give me five years of doing that, I'll give you a lifetime of being able to do what most people never get a chance to do. Never get an opportunity to do for the rest of their life. Who here is with me now? You understand what the course is now? <clears throat> five years. Doing what most people never, ever would think about doing. Here's what it might look like. Well, <clears throat> ah, we'll skip past this. Because you're going to get how to stay, hey, can we straighten this out a little bit? Can we correct that so my words aren't running off the page, although my voice may run off the page. But there we go. Very good. Success principles, how to stay focused in on track, how to instantly increase your passion, commitment, your joy, your financial status. Who here would like to instantly change? Raise your hand up high. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I create instant change with my students instant change in how to go from where you were to where you are now, or where you are now to where you want to be, I guess I should say. The steps to internalizing all of this and what to do to keep the momentum going in the massive growth of your life. Here's what I find. People don't succeed for one of two reasons. Either they don't know what to do. They just don't know. They don't know what the steps are. They don't understand financial credit. They don't understand accounting. They don't understand structures. They don't understand how Apple can get away without paying taxes. They scratch their head. God bless them. And number two, why people don't succeed is once they don't know, or once they know what to do, they don't know how to keep themselves from doing it consistently. They don't know how to do it day in and day out so that they can instantly create it and then keep the momentum going. Who here's with me? I'm going to talk about both those components on how to create that in your life so you not only now know what to do, you then know how to keep it going every single day. Who here understands and believes I wake up like this every day now? I do. It's what my life is. You'll get the rest of this picture. I'm going to talk about quantum leap system for getting the results that you want. My quantum leap system is everything that you see on this table and then some. I'll go into all those components. Who here is interested in, well, one of the components is the power of mentoring. This is my best-selling book. Best-selling book. This is a book I, I published, put, put out in the marketplace, and within a couple weeks drove it to bestseller. Who here would like to be a best-selling author? If your hands are not raised, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Who here believes that as a best-selling author, you might be able to get more real estate deals? Yes? Yeah. Who here believes your credibility as a real estate investor will go up whenever you talk to a homeowner, whenever you talk to a broker, whenever you talk to an agent, your credibility goes up instantly, doesn't it? And they will want to do business with you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Who here now wants to be a best-selling author? It works. This is my best-selling book. Who here wants it? Right here. Who here said right here? Right here. Oh, I didn't hear. I the voice right echo. Right here. The voice, the voice echo. Very good. Give a round of applause. I reward people that speak up. Yes. Gotta love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right here. Who here? <laughs> That is the law of reciprocity. <laughs> Understand when I give something, I get a whole lot back. Learn to use that. You'll find oftentimes I will do something and I'll show you what I did and why I did it. I teach you exactly the techniques that I may be utilizing to move you forward on your life. Would that be okay? Yeah. Yes. Do you give me permission to use techniques and strategies to move you forward on your life even though you may not be aware of them? Yeah. Yes. That'd be okay? Yeah. When it's beneficial for you. That'd be okay. So one of the techniques I did was reciprocity. I give something to get back massively. Now all of you, who here would like to participate in this and get something free before the end of the evening? Raise your hand up high. Now, what I ask of you is the commitment. You want something free before the end of the evening. First of all, you must be here to receive. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Second of all, when I give you something, will you use it? Yes. Who yes. here commits to using it? Yes. yes. For those of you that do not have your hand raised, I will not give you something. <laughs> I have a photographic memory I will remember. 
So let me give you another chance. Who here will absolutely use something when I give it to them? Awesome. So let's move forward. I'm going to talk about the seven steps to quantum leap your success. First of all, I know it's real important to know who the speaker is. More importantly, to know the voice that is coming through. To know who I am on the inside, to know my background, my experience, so that you know whether to judge or how to judge this opinion, the voice, the, the advice I give. And So let me talk a little bit about my background. I've been an entrepreneur for 27 years. What does that mean? I know some of you are going, I'm not that old. I am. The brains are in there somewhere. I graduated from college 27 years ago, and I've been an entrepreneur every step of the way. Ever since I graduated from college, I've either had my own business or worked straight commission sales, um, marketing, something where I was earning my keep. What that means is I've been earning my value every day of my adult life. Who here wants to be earning their value in their adult life? Some of you do not have your hand raised. <laughs> that may be a cut in pay, I get it. I made sure I was bringing value to the table every step of the way to earn it. I started off with a psychology degree in college. I thought I was going to be a counselor and then realized there wasn't a lot of money in it, except when I was doing things I really didn't enjoy in that segment of the world. So I switched and started taking lots of business courses as well. And when I graduated, went straight into business. Since then, I've studied neuro-linguistic programming, or NLP. Anybody ever study that? Neuro-linguistic programming, it's the study of how we communicate both internal and external. So that we can, who here believes that or understands they communicate with themselves every single day, thousands and thousands of words a minute, right? Well, that communication is either pulling you down or bringing you up. We well, understand that you're communicating with the outside world at the same capacity every single second of every single day, and that's either bringing you down or bringing you up. We would like to get control of all that communication so that it's bringing you up every step of the way, both internally and externally. Is that a good idea? Yeah. It's one of the things I'm an expert at, got certified at, also hypnotherapy. It's a kind of a sister to that same in philosophy and psychology on hypnotherapy and a practice that's been more and more popular now over the years. Also done tons in internet marketing as well as network marketing, multi-level marketing. Anybody here in the multi-level marketing program? A couple of you. I've built tons of different uh, organizations and help people build large organizations. What's the cornerstone of building a large organization? People. One people in communication, leadership. Knowing how to position yourself as a leader so that other people follow. Who here wants to be a leader in their life and in their organization? <clears throat> Doesn't matter whether you are in multi-level marketing or whether you're in real estate. Building a leadership role so that you have a team of people following you. That, that creates magnitude in the real estate game, doesn't it? Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. I'll show you some of the techniques and how to do that. I'm a best-selling author. I've talked about that. I've been a real estate investor for 11, almost 12 years now. Started off as a real estate agent. Also um, became a mortgage broker and a mortgage banker. Um, all of this was after I became a real estate investor. I got my real estate license just to find out why most real estate agents couldn't help me. Um, I found out why. Anybody, who, who have I just insulted? How many agents are in the room? <laughs> A couple of you. You are the exception to the rule because you're here. It amazes me, 20 year veterans as a real estate agent, I was studying real estate investing for 6 to 12 months and I already knew more about doing a real estate transaction than they did. I didn't get it. I understood the class is all about protecting the broker, it's not about actually learning to sell. It amazes me, who here believes that real estate agents help you or know how to sell property? I, I don't know how you were never trained in how to sell a property. You got your real estate license, they didn't spend one minute teaching you how to sell. Isn't that right? Not to get the license, but when you go. Right. 
So the license is so that you could sell real estate. And yet they never teach you how to do your job. It amazes me. Um, coming in, and it, it's for everyone to be a good realtor, you must go on and, and take charge of your own environment. Take charge and bring on the studies yourself because they, they're not doing it for you. Yes? Question. Network marketing. Yes. Which? Uh, the laundry list over 27 years. Would you believe I'm the A-list of most multi-level marketing companies at this point? I travel from coast to coast and also internationally now. Almost every multi-level marketing company that comes to market, I'm one of the first people that gets contacted. And which ones seem to be the best? Oh, uh, that would be a conversation for a whole nother time. <laughs> and you can talk to me privately later on and we can talk about that. It would take too long than what we have time here. Um, my schedule is to be done in, in about an hour and a half, however, I already can tell we might carry over a few minutes longer. Would that be okay? Who here is rushing out the door at, at when, the strike, when we strike 9 o'clock? Who here is rushing out? Good. Because there are some powerful things coming up. I've done tens of millions of dollars in real estate and yeah. investing, and I've trained thousands of people across the country, coast to coast, Canada as well as Europe. Um, this is what my passion is. Anybody get the feeling for that? Yes. And here's the rest of the story. I've been seeing CNN, ABC, Parents Magazine, CNN Live, uh, Good Morning America, and now I run in a, several different companies. This is actually old news now. I believe I have five companies now. I'm kind of lose track. And I'm not talking about entities, um, which Clear has um, multiple properties now, multiple properties that they own. With your all your properties, do you have them all in one corporation or one LLC? You have them all separate, don't you? I usually had two or three like type properties together in LLC, then I had to create a new LLC. It's just structure management. It's knowing how to put together entities like Angel was talking about. Absolutely key to your success. And I've learned to support an abundant lifestyle, and we've already talked about it was my focus. When I first got started, it was about creating a lifestyle. It's not about money in the bank. Who here understands you can do a whole lot, regardless of the amount of money that you have in your bank account, simply because you know how to structure it, you know how to put it together, and you know how to create the lifestyle. Who also knows you could have a ton of money in the bank and never have a lifestyle because you created a job for yourself that you're tied to and you never built it from the scratch as to how to create that life so it really means something to you. Who gets that? I can teach you how to create the life of your dreams. Here's the rest of the story. I've got six kids, three sets of twins. This is my beautiful bride, Deborah. This is, who, who here knew that already? I did. This is a better picture. This is when we were in Cancun last year. Three sets of twins. My oldest girls are now 17. They're going to college um, in September. Whole new experience. They're uh, going to college in September. Then I've got uh, Stephen and Katerina. They are 12. And then turning 13 next month. And then we have David and Daniel who are 11. My book ends. Three sets of twins and a family of eight. Now, let me share something. We went from, do the math, we went from a family of four, my wife and I and two kids, to a family of eight in 14 months. Oh, wow. My financial structure went completely upside down. <laughs> All right? I thought I was kingpin. I graduated from college and my goal, my vision when I graduated from college was six figures. I make a hundred thousand. I'm there, baby. That was like the end all the be all. That was the end of the world. That was it. And so I had created that and I had this ceiling of about a hundred thousand. So 80 to 110, 120 was what I did every single year. Lear realizes that they've hit a ceiling in their life. And every single year is the same number every year, year in and year out. It's the same number that they're earning no matter what they do. Who here gets that? I hit that ceiling. Then I had child 
three, four, five, and six, it kicks you in the gear. I knew I had to do something different. You see, I was mapping it out and I was putting more and more money on my credit cards every single month. I was putting more and more money on my credit card living off of debt rather than living off of what I had earned. And continuing on that process, I knew in 18 to 24 months I'd be declaring bankruptcy. If there was no great rosy picture going on, I had a massive shift in my life. I had to create something new. That's when I got into real estate investing. That's when I started realizing I needed to get up, do the work, do the effort, create the magic in my own life to create more and create that abundant lifestyle I wanted. And well, this is where the journey took me. I was able to create that abundance and create that joy in my life forevermore. Let me show you how. Step one, and I talked about this when I first got started, it's massive action. He realizes that regardless of knowledge base, that you need to get into action mode right away. Yes? Yes. yes. And it's not just doing more of the same thing, is it? Because doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results is? Insanity. Insanity. <laughs> you need to do something different. Successful people learn how to do things different. They do different actions to create different results. My first deal, and I'm going to talk about my first deal, my very first real estate deal to teach you some of the techniques and strategies that I use to get myself up and trans transform myself from where I was to where I ended up. My first deal, first of all, I stopped and called. I called massive amounts of numbers. Who here, how many people have you called in the last 30 days? Uh, real estate deals, transactions, how many people have you called? Real estate only then? I'm a salesperson. So. Oh, great. What else do you do? Estate. I sell DVDs that are educational. I sell them to people. Okay. So educational so DVDs. Sell 150 so, people a day. 150 people a day. And you want to be a successful real estate investor. Yeah. How many uh, sellers or realtors are you calling every day? What? Do you notice the difference? One this week. <laughs> do you know? Now you're in sales. Why do you call so many people for the other business? Because I get fired if I don't. So, <laughs> That's your job. so here's the thing. Realize that she's got strong motivation to placate somebody else, and Plus very weak motivation to placate herself. Plus, I get commission. So you get no residual income from doing real estate. Well, not now. If you did 150 calls a day, I guarantee you, you would have a deal. Does that make sense? Yes. Who here agrees with me? Yes. So all of you are doing 150 calls a day. How many of you want to be a real estate investor? Raise your hand up high. How many of you are not succeeding to the level you want? Now you know why. <laughs> now, did I say to do it right? Did I say, oh, you had to be an expert at making those calls? Did I say anything? Just do the calls. If you simply did 100 calls a day, all right, let's be fair. If you simply did 10 calls a day, no, 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 I'll even be fair. If you simply did one call a day, you would be massively successful. That's 30 calls a month. That beats out what most of you have done in the last year. How do I know this? I train a lot of people. Does that make sense? Yes. So I did a lot of calls. I was doing, when I first hit the road and I decided I was going to be a real estate investor, I hit the road, I started calling, I called 100 properties in that first month. I analyzed 100 properties in that first 30 days I was in business. Is that good? I got into massive action. Did I know exactly what I was doing? No! Man, I look back, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was an idiot. It's okay, I got into massive action. If you did a hundred of them, I'll bet you started to formulate what was kind of a good one. Yes. When you get into action, you actually are able to build criteria. You're able to build what's good, what's bad, what's working, what's not working, because you're in massive action. So I built criteria of exactly what I was looking for, of exactly what I wanted. So when a real estate property drove by me, 
or I drove by a real estate property, I knew whether it was the right thing for me. Does that make sense? For listings? What? Were you looking for listings? I was looking for anything. Anything. I found a piece of property in penny savers. I found a property for sale by owner. I, I found, and these are ones I bought, I found properties, deals, in, in the strangest places and a ton from listed properties as well. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in, in oh, throw out a wide net. You will create and find massive amounts of opportunity. 